Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Oke, okay, selamat pagi, selamat sore, selamat malam Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone uh, How are you doing today? Uh, hopefully everyone is in a very good health I mean Oke, okay, so welcome back to English with Mr. Asraf channel Oke okay. Pada kesempatan kali ini, kita akan membahas tentang tuple vocabularies. Oke, okay. uh, kali ini kita akan membahas mengenai lesson 1. So, we have uh, one out of 40 lessons. Ya, yeah. so, uh, be patient. So, we are going to upload one by one. So, just keep in touch. Keep checking our channel. Oke, okay. uh, di kesempatan kali ini, kita akan fokus ke tema mengenai food crops. Oke. Okay. So there are 10 vocabularies that we need to master from this <coughs> lesson. The first one is abandon, the second one is adversely, the second one is adversely, the third one is aggregate, number four is cultivation, fertilize, intensify, irrigation, obtain photosynthesis and precision. Oke, okay. uh, ini adalah 10 uh, target words that we have to master dari lesson 1. Kita ada 40 lesson, so be patient, ya, kita akan pelajari 10 uh, dengan 10, ya. 10 dengan 10, 10 by 10, ya. kita akan belajar 10-10, ya. dengan demikian, lambat laun kita akan menguasai uh, 400 words related with to fall vocabularies. Oke, okay. uh, ke 400 kata ini sangat penting ketika kita sedang mengerjakan atau akan mengerjakan bagian dari reading comprehension section in the book. So we also have some definitions and samples from these 10 uh, words, ya. Yeah. Oke, okay. so we can check one by one. So number one is abandon, ya. Yeah. So we have to know the parts of speech or class kata dari kata abandon, ya ini to leave or to give up. In bahasa we can say meninggalkan. An example for this word is to save their lives, the sailors had to abandon the sinking ship. Okay, and another word which is connected with abandon is abandonment. This is the noun of the word. Okay. So let's move on to number two. Number two is adversely, yeah, or adversely, right? It's an adverb. The meaning is in a harmful way or negatively, right? Jadi uh, arti dari adversely adalah secara negatifnya, ya. Yeah. So uh, ini adalah bentuk adverbnya. So for an example, excessive rainfall early in the spring can adversely affect the planting of crops. Okay. And adversely is often followed by effect. Jadi kata adversely itu seringkali dipakai atau dikaitkan dengan kata effect. Right. Okay. And the parts of speech related with this vocabulary is adversity and adverse. Adversity is the noun and adverse the adjective. Right, and we also have another word, this one, which is adversary. Yeah, adversary, the meaning is uh, fool or enemy, yeah, or musuh atau lawan. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's continue. Number three, it is aggregate. Yeah, so the meaning is gathered into or amounting to a whole. Yeah, uh, mentotalkan atau menggabungkan sesuatu. Okay. Example, it is impossible to judge last year's performance without knowing the aggregate sales numbers, right? Aggregate is often followed by a term like sum, total, or numbers. So, uh, some uh, parts of speech for this one like aggregate as the verb, aggregate as the noun, okay? Let's continue with number four, cultivation. Cultivation means preparing the land to grow crops or improvement for agricultural purposes and this is the noun for okay an example for this word is 
with the development of land cultivation, hunters and gatherers were able to settle in one place. Yeah. So cultivate is the verb. Yeah. Uh, sering diterjemahkan dalam bahasa Indonesia dengan mengolah. Normally mengolah tanah atau mengolah crops, ya, tanaman pangan atau tanaman panen. Yeah. And cultivation is pengolahan tanah. Okay. And next, okay, so I think this is uh, quite common to Indonesians. Yeah, like fertilize. Yeah. So this is the verb. The meaning is to supply with nourishment for plants by adding helpful substances to the soil. Example like this farm fertilizes the tomatoes more than any other crop. Yeah, this farm fertilizes tomatoes more than any other crop. Yeah. Okay, so ladang ini fertilizes tomatoes yeah, more than any other crop. Okay. Terkadang dalam bahasa Indonesia kita sering menerjemahkan fertilize dengan memberikan pupuk. Yeah. Okay. So the parts of speech, uh, the other parts of speech for this uh, entry is or are, yeah. So we have fertilizer as the noun and fertilization, the noun, yeah. So this is the pupuk and fertilization is pemupukan. Okay, let's move on to number six. So we have intensify, yeah. So this is the verb form. So the meaning is to increase in power, to act with increased strength. Okay, example like Jacob's long absence intensified his certainty that he should marry Rose. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the meaning to increase in power. Yeah. Okay, uh, the parts of speech we have intensification and intense. Okay, next, okay, irrigation. Yeah, the meaning is the supplying of water to dry land. Okay, an example in dry areas of the country. You can see ditches all over the farmland for irrigation. Okay. Okay, so kata kerjanya ya, ini irrigate. Okay. Let's continue with number eight. Yeah, obtain. Yeah, the meaning is to gain possession of or to get. Sering terjemahkan dengan mendapatkan. Yeah, so we can gain, so mendapatkan, get, so so mendapatkan. And this is the most common verb in English. Yeah. Okay, for uh, with the similar meaning with obtain. After a series of difficult interviews, he finally was able to obtain the job. Okay. The next one is photosynthesis. Uh, this is the noun. Yeah, the meaning is the process by which green plants make their own food by combining water, salt, and carbon dioxide in the presence of light. Okay. Ini sering kita dengar dalam bahasa Indonesia uh, diterjemahkan dengan fotosintesis. Yeah. Okay, and another example like oxygen is a byproduct of the process of fotosintesis. Okay, and the parts of speech. Another parts of speech for this entry is photosynthesize, and this is the verb. And next, the last one, yeah, precipitation. Yeah. Okay, the meaning is water that falls to the earth's surface. Sering diterjemahkan ke dalam bahasa Indonesia dengan presipitasi atau curah hujan atau hujan itu sendiri. Example like in the Pacific Northwest, the high level of precipitation ensures rich green plant life. Okay, so yeah, so we have learned ten new vocabularies. Okay, uh, related with uh, TOEFL test, and this is still lesson one, everybody. It's about, okay, food crops, all right? Okay, so let's uh, do some exercises, okay? Right, so just wait a minute. Okay, so here is the exercise to full preparation one. So complete each sentence by filling in the blank with the best word from the list, yeah? Complete the form of the word if necessary. Use each word only once. So we have abandon. Precipitation, cultivation, fertilize, and photosynthesis. Okay, right. While you are doing this exercise, you can pause our video, yeah, so to let you think and fill in the blanks, yeah, or complete its uh, sentence by filling in the blank with the best word provided in this list. Okay, so let's start with number one. Okay, so one minute, everybody. Okay, 
So we can read number one. Okay. Through blah blah blah, green plants create organic materials with the help of chlorophyll. Okay, so do you know the answer? Yes, through what everybody? Yeah, chlorophyll is an indicator that it is related with photosynthesis. All right, so the answer is okay. So we just answer it. Just write down the numbers below the words. Yeah, okay, like, through photosynthesis. Okay, right. Green plants create organic materials with the help of chlorophyll. Right. And now, how about number two? The coastal city gets half of its blah 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 during the months of January, February, and March. Yeah, you're right. So the answer is precipitation. Yeah, okay. Or in Basa, we can say hujan or curah hujan. Next, number three. Farmers use various methods of land. Yes, you're right. Cultivation. Okay, or pengolahan tan. Right. Next, number four. Yeah. When they heard the hull crack, all but two of the sailors abandoned ship. Yeah. Right. In bahasa, can translate this. Ketika lambung kapal, yeah, pecah, uh, semua kecuali dua pelaut itu yang yeah, meninggalkan uh, perahu atau kapal. Okay. So let's move on, everybody. The last one, number five. Inexperienced gardeners may not realize how important it is that they blah 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 their plants. Yeah, so we only have one option left. So you're right, the best answer is fertilize, and this is the verb. Okay, thank you, everyone. So let's continue with the next exercise. Yeah, do full prep two. Yeah. Find the word or phrase that is closest in meaning to the opposite of each word in the left hand column. Write the letter in the blank. Yeah. Okay, jadi untuk bagian dua ini kita mengerjakan uh, atau menjodohkan antara kata yang ada di kolom kiri dengan di kolom di kolom kanan. Ya. Yeah. Uh, tapi yang dicari adalah di opposite lawan katanya. Yeah. Okay, for example, obtain is mendapatkan. So then. The answer is yes. You're right. The answer is C or lose. Yeah. Okay. Mendapatkan and then hilang. Yeah. Intensify. Yeah. Intensifkan. Yeah. So uh, the opposite is number one. Yeah. You're right. The answer is weaken. Yeah. Melemah. Okay. How about irrigation? Right. The answer is Drainage, yeah. Drainage, right. Okay. And how about aggregate? Yeah, you can refer to sum or total, yeah. Okay. Right. Menggabungkan, yeah, menjadi the whole, yeah. So uh, the opposite is separate, yeah. Uh, memisahkan, right. And then the last one, everybody, yeah. Adversely or negatively, of course, the opposite is. Yes, you're right. Positively. Okay. Yes. All right. So, we are going to come to the end of this exercise. Yeah. So, read the passage to review the vocabulary you have learned and answer the questions that follow. Yeah. So, ini adalah contoh dari bagian uh, reading section dari TOEFL. Okay. So, we can try to read this. Yeah. Uh, but in the real TOEFL test, you have to Read fast, yeah, and try to understand the text, yeah. But in this video, we're going to read it together. Yeah. So try to practice our pronunciation. Okay, in countries like Niger or Niger uh, and Mauritania, the cultivation of land has changed little in the past several centuries. Additionally, this country's monomodal rainfall pattern brings precipitation for only three months during the year. As a result, food production doesn't nearly meet demand. Several agencies and organizations have intensified their efforts 
to increase the productivity of land in these countries. They have introduced new strains of seed, improved irrigation techniques, and introduced new methods of fertilization and soil management. With ample sunlight for photosynthesis and modern irrigation techniques, sustainable farming techniques should allow farmers to boost irrigatory, to boost aggregate production in order to meet demand. Still, crop revitalization faces an sorry faces an unexpected adversary institutional incompetence yeah? when crop specialists have convinced individual farmers to abandon old farming techniques in place of new they can't readily obtain the governmental cooperation they need the biggest hurdles are political corruption incompetence and the absence of a marketing infrastructure. Okay, so in this passage, the word adversary is closest in meaning to everything, everybody, if you can read again. Still, crop revitalization faces an, an unexpected adversary, institutional incompetence. Okay, so like you have learned before, adversely, adverse is the negative. Or the negatively for adversely yeah, but adversary like i've told before in the beginning of the video so okay which one yes you're right enemy yeah okay wait a second everybody okay so the answer is enemy okay so let's continue with the next one yeah okay how about number two yeah in the last paragraph, the word day refers to everyone. What do you think? Yeah, day in this context, where crop specialists have convinced individual farmers to abandon all farming techniques in place of new. They can readily obtain the governmental cooperation they need. Ya, seperti kita pahami bahwa kata day ini mengacu pada bisa ke orang, bisa juga ke benda, ya, or things, ya. Okay, so in this context, yeah, so it can refer to uh, crop specialists, yeah, and it can also refer to individual farmers, yeah. Okay, right. So the best answer is which one, everybody? Crop specialists or farmers? What do you think? Yes, you're right. Yeah, the best answer is crop specialists. Alright, kita bisa lihat konteksnya di situ ya. Buat dia di sini mereka uh, tidak siap untuk mendapatkan uh, uh, governmental cooperation yang mereka butuhkan ya. Uh, kerjasama pemerintah atau bantuan bisa juga berarti bantuan atau kerjasama dari pemerintah yang mereka butuhkan. So they in this context ya, yeah, uh, it's referring to or they in this context refers to crop specialists not individual farmers. Okay, itu saja uh, video yang bisa kami sampaikan terkait dengan lesson one, okay, about food crops. Okay, nantikan video-video kami selanjutnya, ya, hingga tercover 40 lesson, ya. Okay, so harap uh, tetap semangat, everybody, dan mudah-mudahan Rekan-rekan uh, yang ingin mengambil tes TOEFL bisa mencapai target yang rekan-rekan inginkan. Oke, okay, sampai di situ saja. Jangan lupa untuk like, share, komen uh, dengan dalam uh, channel kami. Dan sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya. Oke, okay, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.